Hey everybody, it's Chana Unicorn. This is a long overdue pillow talk and it's actually like 1 a.m. where I am, so it's kind of pillow talk for real. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a whirlwind uh, the last few weeks that just, uh, you know, some stuff doesn't make it onto the channel all the time, but going through some changes in my life and who's in my life and things like that and changes I didn't ask for and changes I didn't want and changes that uh, are just like ultimately hard to accept. So it is what it is. People come in and out of your life and, um, you know, you just got to move on and figure out how to like accept it and move on. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm working on. And I'm going to the club with R a lot and, uh, and, and S uh, once in a while to make new friends and meet new people and hopefully new dick. But I'll be honest, I'm kind of like not really feeling stranger hookups or at anything. And so every time I go to the club now, I just don't really like look at the guys with like as much enthusiasm and it's not really their fault. I don't know. It's almost like the wind's been taken out of my sails a little bit and I just need to like remember what it's like to have fun there, maybe make a few friends and, uh, and go from there. But I'm just not the kind of stranger sex kind of girl. And so for me, going to a DTF night is all fun and games if you have like friends that are going, but when, when you don't, it can be a bit intimidating for me, uh, for R not so much. She's very comfortable in those environments. So, uh, she's inspiring that way. Um, but yeah, so I got my, my jammies on and they kind of match my bedding. So this is galaxy. This is galaxy. And I have matching little thingies, little shorts. We can't really see them all. Anyways, <laughs> I gotta be good for YouTube. So, I have not had pillow talk in a while and I wanted to check in and let you guys know that I'm focusing my efforts on two different channels right now. So I'm doing Tiny Unicorn Main and Tiny Unicorn Vlogs and uh, Tiny Unicorn Vlogs is uh, halfway to getting monetized already and I'm really excited because it's a passion of mine to show my life, to show my life's work, to show my crazy shenanigans even what I eat with people who are generally curious. And so I've just loved doing these extra little vlogs, including diary vlogs, which are basically like pillow talk, but I'm not laying down <laughs> um, <laughs> for the most part. But I kind of just reveal more details about my life and and things like that. Now, I, I will always keep certain things private. Um, for example, like, you know, if I'm having a hard time getting over something, I'm not going to come and like complain about it on YouTube. I'm just going to complain about it with my friends, <laughs> you know, and like annoy them so that I don't have to annoy you. Um, but yeah, I just, for me personally, I don't like, like change that often. And like, I just, I have a hard time adjusting sometimes. So anyways, it is what it is, but you just have to stay positive. One foot in front of the other, look forward, not backwards, right? All that kind of jazz. So, but yeah, so no boys. I got no boys on the go. I've got, um... A few kind of male friends here and there that occasionally will likely become like play partners, spin partners, but but nothing really solid or concrete. And so I'm still kind of looking for for somebody to be like a partner in crime again and like get into not all sorts of naughty trouble with me at Oasis with like, you know, group like I want to have sexual experiences still, you know, and I need a group of people to do that with. So What's really interesting is that um, tomorrow is actually technically unicorn night at Oasis. And I don't normally go on couples only nights ever, like ever, because they suck, in my opinion, for single girls looking for attention. <laughs> um, and I actually was invited to go to this one by the couple, the first couple I ever had a threesome with, literally this video. And I had to decline because technically uh, me and uh, a former friend are sharing custody of the Oasis pool right now. And, uh, and he had snagged that date already. And so literally I'm losing out on like the one and only unicorn night I've ever had where I was actually invited to basically be like there with a couple and I have to say no. But it is what it is. Um, it is what it is. So... I'll, I'm sure I'll have more than enough fun to go around at the next Bukaki night, whatever. So, yeah, so that's what's been going on. And 
Um, yeah, my website, I've been doing some work on that. I'm starting to put up some content that you won't find on social media because the rules about what I can post on my own website are a little looser. <laughs> so even though I can't post nudity or anything there, I can definitely do color outside the lines a little more. So there's some videos that I actually did delete off my channel, my main channel. You probably never saw them. They were under like 2000 views, but so I may start to like introduce some of those clips back. Um, yeah, so you can get a look at, at that too. Cause I had a whole YouTube career before anyone cared. And some of those videos are cringe worthy. Um, especially the ones where I'm like shaking my booty. Cause I thought that's how I was going to be on YouTube was shaking my booty at lingerie. And I, I still remember my second ever, um, only fan subscriber. And he was the first clue I had that I was on to something when he was like, yeah, like I like, yeah, like I like your sexy content or whatever, but I really just want to hear you talk. And I was like, wait a second, guys aren't supposed to come to OnlyFans to pay for us to talk. <laughs> so I was confused, but turns out that, yeah, it wasn't my dancing videos on YouTube that people liked. It was the story time, the raunchy story time, the advice videos, women need an on-ramp to penetration. I'll put a link. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've, had, I've had so much fun. So anyways, I really hope that you subscribe to Trying Unicorn Vlogs. I will put a link in this description of this video. It means a lot to me to have your support there because once I get that channel monetized, I'm just, I'm going to feel so much more invested in my content and, and, and living my life for you all to see. So, uh, so I hope you follow along on the journey. Thank you for having Pillow Talk with me. I'm going to do a little After Dark Pillow Talk for my fan page because that's why I have a fan page. I <laughs> uh, can't do that kind of stuff on YouTube. So uh, why don't you come and visit me there and uh, we'll finish this, this little night off. Good night, everybody. But I can't fake that I'm not into anal play. And as soon, as soon as his finger navigated to my and like kind of flirted with the entrance and like went in a little bit the tone of my sound went up and i suddenly was All like i know is when i sat on that man's nine and a half inch there was a moment a few moments where i thought can i take this like or do i have to ask him to like not go as deep but my goodness when you have a dick that's that long it doesn't fall out and so for me it was just a very it was the sex was wonderful it just like if you enjoy my content and you also want to see what I offer on my vlog channel, please click on one of the links on your screen now so that you can see and explore all of my crazy life shenanigans.